Hello everybody, I'm back to GeoGuessr. Something special, um, I've been challenged. Um, this is a custom challenge by Math Lover. Challenge theme is five suburban areas on five different continents. Uh, I'm kind of throwing myself under the bus here because if there's like something like an important landmark or something, I'm just going to not know where it is. Like, oh, hey, look, it's uh, the Eiffel Tower. Where the hell is that thing? Now I know where the Eiffel Tower is. I've been there, actually. But, you know, as an example. <clears throat> anyway, there's this like huge link, which I'll also put in the video description if you want to try that yourselves. Do <clears throat> play it fair and uh, don't do this after I've done it. So, you know, go at it first or play it along with me. And... Um, you know, don't do it after I've done it, because that is kind of easy, isn't it? Let's see if this ginormous link actually works. Ah, oh, crap. Um, let me go get that link first. Alright. That should do it. Challenge accepted. You've accepted the challenge to beat... Ah, oh, crud. This whole thing is now wrong, isn't it? Um, because chance to beat another player's score, the rules are the same as otherwise, and you will be both playing on the same location for each round. If you're unsure how the game works, like help. Uh, after she did on that round, in addition to your own result, your guess marked a red, but your guess with a blue player with the most points after five rounds wins. Okay, let's close this, and I need to adjust this a bit so you can actually see what the hell I'm looking at. Mm, that'll do. Yeah, I guess this'll. I have to do then. Alright, a bit of a sloppy start to get things off. Uh, can I close the... Yeah, okay, cool. <clears throat> uh, let's get the music going. Good. Um, why do we see the roads, actually? That is weird. We know we're on Rue... Francoise or something, which already makes me think we're in f France. Cop of Belle de May, produit biologique. <coughs> okay. Um. Well, let's see if we can beat Math Lover if he actually played this. Um, we want to find a name, at least. But yeah, this is probably France. I don't think <clears throat> this is going to be Canada or anything. But we'll be on the lookout for uh, flags and such, I suppose. Boulevard La Révolution. It's a bit weird that you can actually see street names, but I guess every little bit helps. Midi Automobile. With two S's, apparently. Hmm. <clears throat> now, we got to realize as well, France had some overseas colony, so we may be on an island somewhere. D4C. I think we can find that on a map. I'm gonna book it for France to begin with. Uh, nothing big enough just yet. Oh, wait, whoa, now we're down here. Okay, and now we're back up here. Cool. And now we're down here again. <laughs> no, but a town name would be handy. Uh, okay, dot fr. Fr. So we're definitely in France somewhere. Okay. At least I won't be too far off then. <clears throat> hmm. 
Come on, stop putting me down. <laughs> left, right, left, right, and suddenly down. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go back. Oh, now I can't go down anymore? Oh, there we go. No, I want to see what the sign said. No. Uh, well, we got some more signs coming up. Toyota. La passerelle. Hey, my French is pretty good, isn't it? Thanks. Ecole de Podologie de Marseille. I think we're in Marseille. Uh, well, that's a good hit. Marseille. Where the hell is Marseille, though? There it is. Okay. Ah, and there's the 4C. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're not gonna guess there. We're gonna go back to the start. See how far off we were from that. See if we can find Rue Francois or something. Rue de Frère. Notre Dame. Collège Belle de Mai. Boulevard. We've been on that. <coughs> so we're not too far from. Rue François Boy, or whatever that says. Rue Ricard, Rue Belle Boulevard Boyer. Rue François. This is where we are somewhere. <coughs> now, how much better can we pinpoint this? This is a one way street, from what I can tell from the map. So let's see if we find any more passings and then we can probably get close to a few meters of where we actually should be. Okay, so we got a split here, which means we're now here, I think. So I'm guessing we're somewhere here. Hey! <clears throat> we were 27 meters away. A child in guess was zero kilometers from the correct look. Oh, come on, how can I beat that? I mean, he knows. Where. Oh, I was in front of the thing. Well, 72 meter ain't bad. All right, cool. Uh, next guess. I'm happy with that one. <clears throat> it's a bit lame, though. You can actually see street names, but I suppose you can just find those on... Rose anyway. Uh, Juan Gols. Oh, jeez. Auto service Padilla. Padilla? It's cloudy too, which doesn't help. I've been given a useful tip from somebody following the series. Much appreciated. That you can use the location of the sun to find out what hemisphere you're on. I was like, huh, I guess you can. Stay Anna, stay Anna. Wow, can every single road here be... Everything is stay Anna. Uh, we'll need to find some proper... Language. FB. That's not helping. Los Comintes. Hmm. What's on this thing? We'll never know. Or will we? Yeah, we will. Epson AMD. Come on, you should have a site on here giving me a domain name. 
So you're telling me this guy is selling computer stuff, huh? Roberto Ortiz. Uh, I don't know where this is gonna be, man. I'm gonna cock up on the um, South American guess, and I f hope this is gonna be the one. We've already did Europe, so we're not looking in there. So we've got North America, South America, maybe Africa? Although there isn't much to pick from in Africa, there's just the southern tip there. <coughs> They're probably going to have one in Asia and then one in uh, here, Australia, New Zealand. But for now, we are here. And I have no idea where here is. Um, now the thing is, this could be North America, and this could be South America. San Martin? Could somebody just, you know, put up a flag or a top domain name? Yeah, that'd be really cool. See, the thing is, <coughs> photocopias, I'm guessing that's Spanish. I, know, I now know a way to distinguish between Spanish and Portuguese. Um, and that's important. <coughs> Dentista, Les Los Dorados. I'm gonna guess this is somewhere in Mexico. You just don't do links anymore, do we? Well, Jesus es el camino. Why is that? Jesus drives a camino. I don't know. <clears throat> this guy just threw out a perfectly good couch. Yeah, I was trying to sell it. Iglesia de Dios Pentecostal. Mm. Oh, is that a flag up there? No. Come on, guys. Show some patriotism. What country are we in? Phone number, but <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna screw this up royally, aren't I? Just one single link or something. Union Americana. Okay, so I'm kind of banked on Mexico. Not that they. Uh, this thing can't be in Brazil or whatever, but ooh, email. Ah, it's not helping me, is it? It's a Hotmail email address. That still uses Hotmail, unless it's for trolling purposes. Um, Budweiser. That's American too. Again, they could export to. South, but I guess I'm gonna have to go for somewhere in Mexico then. <clears throat> Doesn't look like I'll ever. Well, we're getting on a busy street. We might find a city name somewhere. Oh, hell. <clears throat> I'll definitely won't be able to pinpoint much of a location here, but see if you can at least find a. 
city names somewhere. Buses tend to be rather useful in that regard. Come on, bus. Ah, the bus is gone now. Oh, there's another one coming. Yeah, that's the beauty of street. Oh, no, there. Now, now, now it's over there. Um, is there any way I can get a clip? Whoa. Okay, let's see if I can get a clear view on a bus. The 328.2. Come on. I give up. Um, let's go with Merida. I don't know. Oof. So it was there, huh? Well, there you go. All right, well, at least South America is out now. Oh, don't tell me <clears throat> you're ditching us in Russia for the Asian guess. This is probably not going to be America. <laughs> That's sure if we can. Where does that language potentially be possible? Uh, this kind of looks like it. Or not. Mm. See if we can find something more language wise. This could be. This is Turkish. Come on, show me your squiggly lines. Okay, that sounds rude, but you know what I'm... Oh, there we go. Yeah, stuff like that. I think I could match this up. <laughs> no. Again. Now let's keep going. Um, our problem is I don't know how much I'll be able to f figure out uh, dot co dot I L I L Israel. Do they use squiggly lines too? No. Dot IL. I don't know this can be here. Israel, I guess. Uh. Hmm. We'll keep that dot co dot il in mind, but I don't know how much value I'm gonna put in that. Yotam Road. Oh, Israel. 
It says right there. The Israel Wax Wax Museum. Okay, so we're in Israel. I just need to find out where they have a freaking wax museum. <clears throat> now it should be in a pretty big city. So we could just look for that. But <clears throat> I don't know if I'll have the patience for that. <laughs> Bat jam. Tel Aviv might have a wax museum. Well, we know the country at least, and that's already going to be good for quite a few points. Another thing that I'm going to advertise a wax museum for a different country, that seems a little bit too stupid. But you never know. And I can't read Jack on that sign either. Okay. Well, that's going to be a quality problem to have, I suppose. Or lack thereof, I suppose. Uh, got another sign coming up. Beaches. So we're probably somewhere on the coast then. What was that one road that we had? Eilat Mountains, Shahaman. Well, at least we know the country. Just need to find out how big Israel actually is because the borders seem to be kind of spotty here. <laughs> Just like in real life. Um, so it's this thing and then what? You got this big thing here that's clearly saying border, but... Is it like that? But that goes into Syria. So is this the border? Hmm. I suppose you can go th wait a minute. That way goes to green. In our country green means highway. I don't think this is going to go to a highway, honestly. It's more like a... a dead end to me. Um, yeah, that's... that's helpful. <sighs> Get us back on the road to wherever. Ah, I can read this a bit more clearly. 12. Ooh, can we find the road? 12? Somewhere in Israel. 40, 13, 40, 12. 12, 12, 12. We need to stay in Israel. Airports. I don't see any notice from an airport. Uh, this is where 12 ends. Uh, does this go into some. I suppose we could be here. That kind of would make sense. We're close to. Yeah, Eliot Mountains, Eliot here. Okay, so we're somewhere here. We can start looking for actual roads now. Uh, I'm gonna put us here at 12. 
<clears throat> then go back to starting location where we get ditched on yes that one can we find a street name in English well and arrive Parapon Path. Guys, we may actually do this. Parap not it. How big is this place? Pretty big. Let's see if you can find something big to make this even easier to do. I don't think I'll find that row. Ooh, wait, it might be on uh, Usar Hadur Street and Admin Street. This looks like a pretty big road, but wow, what's the name of this one? Ugh. This looks to be like a big one, so. Street. Which ones are we looking for again? Kesar. Or Admin. We found this. Find some. Need to find a street name for this. Unfortunately, it isn't mentioned anywhere here. It says Jordan. Might be this place. Cool street light. You know what? I can probably keep looking for the streets I'm looking for for quite a while, so I'm just gonna put us here ish. Huh. 627 meters. That's not bad. Obviously, I can't beat the guy who knows where I put the things, but so far, two out of three ain't bad, right? All right, so we've had South America, Europe, uh, I'm guessing Asia. Or Africa, which means we have North America and this place left. Well, I'm gonna guess simply based on what these guys are wearing, this might crap, might be Africa, might be Asia. Actually, we'll have to find some more peeps. But if I recall, if this is indeed Africa, there aren't too many places this could be. Can we see what street we're on here? Nope, this street isn't even named properly. Language isn't gonna be easy to come by either. Uh, 
no graffiti or anything. <clears throat> See if you can do anything with. So that's where the sun is. I guess it's gonna be. Sun's in the north? If I'm reading this compass correct. So we should be in South Africa then. Either that or we're like. Papua New Guinea or uh, New Zealand. Tasmania. But we're not. We're probably in the southern hemisphere. So at least that cancels out half of the world. We need to find a big road. Or at least a town name. But I don't think we're gonna get much here. Well, this is the biggest road so far. Let's see where it goes. It goes into a smaller road. Okay. I'm gonna go with South Africa for now. But I really would enjoy at least getting on a big road and getting some indication of a town or a road number or literally anything. 14th Street. What? Are you? Let's check the position of the sun again. Still sort of north. Oh, more like... Well... Northwest-ish. Hmm. 14th Street. That kind of... If anything, probably makes me more likely that we're in South Africa. There's a lot of um, English in there, you know, colonies and stuff like that. I don't think we'll ever get to a big road like this. Brilliant cold sack, even though there's nothing here, but you know, thanks anyway, guys. <sighs> there's no text besides some numbers and the word street. And I can't, for the life of me, figure a way out of this neighborhood. I suppose I'll just have to guess Africa. What are some important locations in Africa, South Africa? Cape Town? I think that's Africa, right? Or is that South America? No, Cape Town is probably Africa. Ooh, look at the size of this road. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be South Africa then. It's 
słodzi. Yeah, there's Cape Town. Um, it doesn't look like we're near any coast, so we're in Swaziland? Swazi Coast, Swazi Land, it's not that far fetched, in all honesty. What road are we on again? Mm, Bang Weenie Avenue. Mm, Bang Weenie. <laughs> I'm only vaguely sorry for the pronunciation. But <laughs> go on. <coughs> okay, so we're in Swazi Land. That's what I'm gonna go with. Am I going back into the brink here? No, I don't think I am. So if you now could find something like M something something. Oh, that would be so sweet. A big roundabout, that might help. If it's a, if it's a crossroad between a lot of Industrial Renlit Samba Street. Can we find like a big roundabout somewhere? Hmm. At least, uh, oh, there's a. Uh, thing there. A number. MR3. So that's this one. Um, the MR3 to Mbabani. If I'm... There's Mbabani. Okay, so we're getting really close to where we need to be. Uh, let's see if we can find this roundabout and then try to backtrack to how we got to that. Didn't we find this? Pharmacy thing? I think we may have. Which would put us. You know what? I don't think we're too far from here then. I think I'm just gonna ditch us here. Sure. No, don't view on Google Maps. That would be cheating. Huh. 11 kilometers. That's not too bad. So we're actually on the other side of the town. Okay. Ah, that's probably the roundabout we just saw. Yeah, that's fine. All right, one more to go. So this needs to be... Either here or here. Or America. I kind of don't know where they went with that um, Israel thing. Tommy. Kid killed. Ugh, I can't even read the name here. This could be like America, right? Red fire hydrants, which isn't unique to America, but I suppose it indicates it acceptably. You know, some new housing projects in America could probably look like this, sure. Lots of SUVs too. <clears throat> yeah, I think we may be in America for our final guess. It looks nice, but highly unnatural, don't you think? That was a big flat thing and giant waste of spaces. <laughs> I suppose that could be America. But we need to get out of this building 
area and get back on some big roads. We're not going to find a town named here unless we can spot a water tower. Bill Blakey Bay. Bill Blakey Bay. So anyway, yeah, I guess that uh, whole sun spotting thing works. Even though we did end up finding where we needed to be without it. It's a nice thing to keep in mind, I guess. Okay, this looks like a bigger road, so we're gonna follow this one out of here. Let's go! I'd be a whole lot more happy if I just found a single American flag. I probably will be looking at America for this guess. Can we get to that side? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, plumbing and heating service in Winnipeg. Winnipeg ain't a state, but it gives us a city. I don't think Winnipeg is a state. That's Wyoming. <coughs> West Virginia. Okay, so we're in Winnipeg. So once we find a state... Oh, MB. Could that be the state? MB. That's NV. MD. MD. Florida. There's DE. Okay, that's not gonna help us. Um, but we know the town we're in, or the county at least. Winnipeg. I heard it before, but it ain't gonna help me much though. Let's keep looking. And that's a f Canadian flag? Yeah, that's a Canadian flag. So we're in here. Hmm. Or no, we're definitely hmm. Winnipeg. 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 And this looks rather sunny here, so I don't think we're too far north. Winnipeg. There's Winnipeg. Okay, let's put that here. Now, the thing is, we don't really know for sure whether or not we're actually in the town of Winnipeg. It could be that he's just going to town. Somewhere. What road are we on? Devos, blah blah blah. What is this place? Park City Meadows. Grant Park. <coughs> See if you can find one more thing. Brown Social House. Little Caesars. Does this mall area have a specific name? Oh, you can actually go in here. That's cool. Royal Bank. It's not going to help much. So we have that here too. Tantrum. <laughs> what a name. Sweet. RBC.
Uh, I think I might just put ourselves in the Winnipeg. I could be looking for Druids for quite some time as well, so... I'm probably not too far from Winnipeg. Sure, let's go Winnipeg. Uh, let's put it here. 10 kilometers. Not bad. Alright, let's see how we did. Uh, you won the challenge with 25,195 points against 10,000. How the hell did I win? Huh. Well, there you go. We did good on four. Just this one got kind of screwed up. Um, all right. Well, this is gonna was a kind of a lengthy episode, but uh, I think I did well. I hope Math Lover is content with my results. I must say I'm rather surprised by it too. Uh, but yeah, that's going to finally do it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're in the series. Feel free to support by commenting, liking, and or something if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.